All right, Joey Strube here from Bike Man Performance doing Technical Tuesday on primary clutch springs. Uh, there's many different colors, spring rates, uh, and manufacturers for these. So uh, first thing you need to know is what manufacturer you got it from. And then you can usually look up a color chart and figure out what the rating is on the spring. Like this one here is a 140-330 and I'll go over what that means in a second. Uh, this one's a 170-300 and uh, we have a, a vast array so you can check out our website bikemanperformance.com and get whatever you need. Uh, so let's go over this first number, uh, the 170 of the 170-300. The 170 is your preload. So that's uh, when it's installed in your clutch, how much pressure there is uh, holding it against the cover. Uh, so that's what your weights are going to have to overcome to engage the belt. Uh, now the 300 is what the weights are going to have to overcome to hit full shift out. So 170, 300, the 170 is your engagement, the 300 is your full shift. Uh, and you can, like say you have a 140, 300 and you want a little bit uh, more engagement, but you don't want to change your full shift out RPM. So you would want to do something with a little bit higher engagement number, say a 150, 160 engagement, but maintain that 300. Now say you want to keep your same engagement, but you want to change your uh, shift out RPM, uh, you would want to keep the first number, but if you want more RPM, you'll go to a higher second number. So say you have a 140, 300, you would go up to like a 140, uh, 320 or a 140, 330 like this one here. Uh, but that's a uh, oh, brief glimpse in primary clutch springs and they do work uh, in complete conjunction with your primary weights so it's kind of a match set so don't try to do all your clutching with just your primary spring uh, the right way to do it is use weights and spring and uh, we're gonna get into secondary springs next week so stay tuned for more videos uh, subscribe to our channel and like our page thanks